Hi, I'm Jim, and welcome to this edition of HistoryInYourOwnBackyard.com. This morning, we're in Cincinnati, Ohio, on the banks of the beautiful Ohio River at St. Rose Church, and I'm speaking with Father Barry Wintholz. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What can you tell me about St. Rose Church? St. Rose Church, it's a beautiful, we are now in the historic registry, and it's a beautiful old German church built in 1867. Um, there were a group of German blue-collar workers that lived along the river and wanted their own church to worship in. Uh, they worked in the boat building industry. This street that, that on your right there is mm -hmm. Lumber Street. We assume there were lumber yards there. There was boat building and boat repair. And so these hardworking people wanted their own church. Uh, so they petitioned the bishop and he allowed them to build this church. It was completed in 1867. It was named after St. Rose of Lima, which is, uh, she is the saint of, first canonized saint of the Americas. Uh, she lived in the 16th century and uh, she has nothing to do with any German background. I have no idea how they got the name. I'm assuming the Archbishop helped them pick the name. Uh, but it, uh, it is a beautiful old church that held a congregation for all these years. We, next year we will celebrate our 150th anniversary. When I first came to this church, I've been here 16 years, when I came to this church, I thought it was built by Italians because the inside is very filled with lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the people reminded me that the Southern Bavarian Germans were very much into Rococo and a lot of stuff. So it made sense. Uh, on the front, it clearly is a German church because on the top of the steeple, it says Santa Rosa Kirche, which is obviously St. Rose Church in German. And there is one window left in the building that has HL St. Rose, which is Heiligeist, which is the saint, the German for saint, uh, is one of the few windows that are original to 1867. The church in, in, in 1894 had a fire. It burned the roof of the church, uh, and subsequently the whole high altar was burnt to the ground. These industrious Germans rebuilt the church in six months, and continued to worship here. The, the story behind the fire from legend is that they were servers lighting candles for a wedding and they started the high altar which is wood on fire. Uh, the wedding couple moved their wedding down to a, another church closer down into Cincinnati and then after they had their wedding they came back and watched the, <laughs> the place <laughs> burn. Uh, but it, it, it created a lot of destruction within the church uh, and so that was the first major disaster, but it was rebuilt six months later in 1894. Then in 1937 was the next major event in the church, and we had the Great Ohio Flood, which was the largest to date, which goes uh, almost to 100 feet. Uh, and so it, the people in the church would be sitting under water. Uh, it went all the way up into the church, all the way, actually they tell me to the tabernacle, and there are pictures from the, tel from the Cincinnati Enquirer and other pictures of people boating, uh, taking their boats in and out of the church, out of the doors. I note you've recorded those facts on the back of your church. Yes, if you'll see in the back of the church, uh, there is this flood gauge that shows all the floods since the 1800s. The last major flood here that entered into the building itself, because we've had other floods since, but in 19... Uh, 97 there was a flood at 60 some feet and it was five feet within the basement of the church uh, the church itself has gone through a lot of transitions I believe that once the Germans they lived down here in the flood zone and there's tracks in front of the building uh, there are railroad tracks that go from downtown out east uh, there was there has been known that at one point in time William Howard Taft had gotten off of the the train here at the station right across the street and talk to the the people at one point in time. The Germans I believe once they got out of the flood zone, once they made enough money to get out of the flood zone and out of the soot from the from the uh, train mm -hmm. that they moved up to the hills away from all the the, the mess and uh, so they moved out to Mount Washington and Mount Adams and Mount uh, uh, Mount Lookout etc. Then the native population turned to Appalachian, which mostly are non-Catholic, non, non uh, but the church still continued to survive. The school, there is a four-room schoolhouse attached to the church, which today is rented as a to a private uh, school, Montessori school. 
It existed as a Catholic school until 1968 when it closed. Uh, now that the neighborhood is regentrifying uh, and it is still, we are considered a church of convenience where people come from all over the place. I think we have 40 some zip codes uh, and we get a large congregation here. The church holds 400 and most of our three masses on a weekend are filled with people. So we're very blessed here. Uh, it is a great, great place. To, to, your, to your right also in behind you is the, re the convent, um, which was built for the sisters who taught in the school, uh, but then they left when the school closed. Do you still own the convent building? Yes, we renovated, when I came, we renovated the building into apartments for, I hoped, retired priest. Mm. We currently have one priest still living there. Uh, well, this has been a fascinating history of St. Rose Church, and I really, it's, it's been a pleasure hearing it from you. At one point, in its, when the church was being built in 1867, uh, it is, we've been told uh, that the boating people along the river, the barge people, wanted to, when they were putting up the tower clock, they wanted to have an extra face put on so that they would see it coming up and down the river. And that was paid for by the boat building or the boat industry uh, when they built the clock tower. Thanks for being with us again today at another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today we've been in Cincinnati, Ohio at St. Rose Church speaking with Father Barry. Father Barry? Correct. Travel, Travel slowly, slowly and, and stop, stop often. often.